<laughs> oh boy, they must be just pissed upstairs. <laughs> Fuck, you gotta be fucking kidding me. This is gonna cost you five thousand dollars. It's gonna cost. I don't care. You don't. Take what? It. I, I... Today on Eviction Wars Part One Hundred and Eighty Six, Suki Duki is cutting down Derek Two Shots Tarp, which he uses to stop strong winds. So, if you remember correctly, Derek bravely fought off eviction after eviction, and all was well again. Now though, five days after the verdict was delivered, an all new eviction, for failure to pay rent, it seems strange that nobody warned Derek about this, and just sent the eviction. It really was a dirty trick. Okay, I'm calling, I'm leaving a message. Right here. Oh, hey, Brian. Hi. Sorry to call you at this time, but I really had a bit of a, uh, a surprising situation here. Uh, and we had a, a hearing on December 6th, which I won. So that seemed to be all said and done with. And today I walked home and I found in my door another eviction notice for failure to pay rent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I remember speaking to you before. There was issues with the... Uh... Yeah. It's exactly right. But apparently the money, something is missing. I, I received no word of this or warning, but just got an eviction notice. And the number of dollars that is missing doesn't really, it doesn't add up correctly. There's two people that pay here, 350 a month. So if it was my month, that would be 350. If it was two of me, it would be 700. Or if it was one month for two people, that would be 700. There's, I don't understand where 600 comes from. Yeah, okay. Well, if this was done in error, I, I'll apologize, but I've got to, I won't be able to check tonight. Is that right if I look into this tomorrow? Of course it is. Where is my money going if it isn't, if it's... Well, I mean, you, you have a very good question. Um, it should all be accounted for if it did come in. Uh, normally that wouldn't happen unless it wasn't received. And perhaps it, it is an error. So before I discuss it any further, I would like to check with our bookkeeper to find out what could have happened, and then I'll report back to you. That sounds fair. One thing in closing I just want to say is that, you know, I had my problems with Pat Robinson and Victoria's a much calmer person. However, Pat Robinson used to give us beyond reasonable fair warning. She used to shout out every possible thing that was on her mind. Victoria says nothing and just all of a sudden pulls the gun out like this. So I wouldn't mind some kind of middle ground like, you know what, me, you, your rent was paid, maybe you could, we could figure this out, not, by the way, you're kicked out from Merry Christmas, you know? Because I'm checking my bank accounts all the time here and I don't see anything wrong, just so, you know. Okay, yeah, that is very odd. I'll give you that much. Thank um, you. I will check into this, and then we'll find out uh, the details mm -hmm. and make sure that we pass those on. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good night. Okay, you too. Hello? 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 Yes, I'm here. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I don't know if he's illustrated how serious this really is. What I'm saying is that we transfer that those funds now. You transfer those funds now? Where do you transfer them to? It turned out that the other tenant, despite having his money set up to go direct to Home Life Realty, had not changed his account to send the money to Home Life's new location. After several calls, a trip to the credit union, and some emails with forms for the new account set up. Also, the $600 can be explained. Derek had to pay $100 to get the notice of dispute resolution package. He won his trial, and that money gets to be deducted from a future rent payment. Hello, Donna. Um, I'm wondering, first of all, if Victoria Flack is there by chance? Uh, sure, so we're of the Abbotsford office? Yeah, I know. I um, just felt I'd call her first because she's usually not in Abbots or whatever. Can we talk maybe to Lisa White? Is she there? No, we can simply 
Hi Lisa, this is Derek here. A 10 day eviction for failure to pay rent? I'm not sure if you're aware of any of this stuff from Victoria Flack. Okay, and what is your name? Derek Gerbrandt. Okay, um, are you able to email me all this information please? Sure, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Have a Merry Christmas! Yeah, thank you. Have a Merry Christmas! All seemed safe again. At least, until December 23rd, when Suki Duki decided to cut down the tarp for some reason. You are not allowed to come upstairs! This is gonna cost you $5,000! It's gonna cost- I don't care. You don't take What? I- I put a you don't why care? You on, why you come on my property upstairs? Okay, She's you yelling at us! Not, no, you are Suki, not! This you is are my standard! You're are you coming here? You're gonna you're find out! You don't dare! You're gonna find out! Papa. She's yelling! Oh, She's yelling! She's cutting the tarp, I told you. My address is the 32712 you, Avenue. Not my property. You can't put the tarp here. It's been there for years. She just cut it down. Yeah. I just recorded her cutting it down. I don't care because we put the lock. The police will be here in a second. That lock yes. I just crazy. bought this. Uh, I put the lock on my She put the lock. She's calling the police. Ah, uh, those crazy Indians. What strange and unpredictable things will they think up next? Find out on another wacky episode of Eviction Wars. Turn oh, those goddamn lights off, Valley!